long day. What is it? Nine o'clock now. It's still sunny out. It's still light out. And we're gonna go see if we can find some mushrooms. We don't wanna grow. Chill out. <laughs> can, you, can you roll right by it? What up, buddy? All right, so we're taking some stops before we get to the spot. Um, we actually were fishing legit probably about two hours ago because we had to make an hour run, but we were fishing in that river right there. That's the upper Kena. All right, next spot, mushrooms. Okay, so here we are, just pulling into the spot, and we saw a bear just a moment ago on the road. And on the way here to pick you guys up, I saw one um, right up at the top of this hill. So first thing we're gonna do is make a lot of noise and let it, let them know that we're in the area, and then uh, we'll grab some bear spray. I was just messing with you guys. I do have some. So. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, make a lot of noise and we should be fine. Uh, but we're gonna leave Kai in the car because there's bears out right now. So uh, let's do it. All right, so quick tip. Um, when I get some noise, hoo, hoo, bears are leaving. But if a bear does attack you, make sure you just hit him right in the jugular and you will be fine. <laughs> I'm not a bear friendly guy. I don't think bears would be very friendly to me either. I grew up with my dad hunting morel mushrooms and they go great with deer steak and um, when when he kind of gave us this this mushroom last night we're like what is this oh my gosh you just find this today he's like yeah want to go mushroom hunting tomorrow and we're like yes yes absolutely so i don't know this is cool yeah so we're looking for these uh lion's mane mushrooms um tromping through the woods here we've got a lot of cottonwoods and we're looking for the ones that are on the ground um and they've been there for a while they've already lost their bark and they're starting to decompose and the mycelium likes to travel through the bark um or through the through the tree and why are we looking for them? Because they're really good. Oh, because they're delicious. Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> Sauteed up in butter. Yeah, harvest. Pretty small one. Yeah, we it's got definitely a... fresh though. Um, but I think we can find some bigger ones. I mean, this is just the first log we stumbled on. Not so, you guys, but come back, see if it's bigger in a little while. And if not, then it'll just spore out and seed hopefully more mushrooms. But when you see one, a lot of times there's more on that same log. And you want to get under and take a look. And if it's like hollowed out in the inside, look up inside the log. And then sometimes they're gonna be crunched up underneath here and it's gonna be all dirty from just the woods, dirt. Um, and you let those go because there'll be nice clean ones sitting on top of the log. Um, and they're naturally resistant to bugs, so that's not a problem. And let's go find some more. Yo, we got a good one over here. We got a good one here, Phil. Yeah. Wow. So we found a nice one. Did you guys say that's pretty average for? Sure. Here? No, is that really big? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> that's a good one. They got that box over there though. Oh, okay. That smell. Oh. Right here. Wow. Is this what you're talking about? Oh no, that's not a lion's mane. No, you guys don't want to. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> good, I could find That's guys. a big one. That's nice. All right, so there's our first one. So we found it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> should, we, should we work this way now? Yeah, sure. Okay. Sweet. Well, and like you good said, eye, there's <laughs> one, maybe more. So check the rest of this log, too. For sure. Those Where are nice and right clean, too. Right here on the end, yeah. We got two of them. They're a little wet, guys. You might want to let them sit let in them sit. open air, like in the fridge. Okay. These are really wet from the rain we've had. Let's see. Put the light on them. Yeah, they do. There we go. Holy cow, our box is filling up. Probably two more, and we got a full box, boys. Oh, it smells like smells like you're fishing the Kenai River and just catching rainbow trout all day long. Success and freedom. Success, freedom, <laughs> and beauty. Nice fresh one here. See how super white it is? Not starting to brown up at all. It's gonna be a good eating one. So you don't try not to pull when you cut them. Just cut straight through so you don't disturb the mycelium. And we'll, whatever falls away into the dirt, we'll let that go and that's, that's what we're gonna keep right there. Nice job, Phil. Lion's mane mushroom.
yeah it's pretty much a few weeks right around now where it happens and then um we gotta wait till next year and i kind of like these uh because they're i don't know of any good way to store them like drying them out or anything mm -hmm. Uh, or freezing them they don't really come out well so it's like a fresh in season thing you get yeah. to enjoy it while it lasts and then wait till next year so pretty special yeah, special yeah, mushroom I, mean, I think we got enough yeah yeah looks good all right we got some mushrooms it's crazy Le legit met phil yesterday night he came into our camper and now he's taking us into his secret mushroom spots crazy people you meet up here in alaska but thanks to him we're gonna try these out now but we're gonna head back to our camper it's been a long long day Good morning guys, um, last night we drove all the way to Homer, we were legit in a rush, we almost missed our water taxi, we were headed out into the ocean today, um, we've crossed out the salmon off our list, we need to catch some halibut now, Mav's never caught a halibut, Soby's never caught a halibut, but we're not doing it traditionally like how we did it last time, this time we're going to try and do it out of a kayak, so we're going, we're getting a water taxi somewhere, I don't know where exactly we're going, but we should probably get out of this guy's way because we are blocking the driver from seeing in front of this boat. Oh, yeah. Smav drove till like 2.30, so we added until 3 a.m. This is all after yesterday fishing and mushroom hunting all day. I fell asleep. I fell asleep in the passenger seat. Yeah, a couple times. And then I was like, screw this. In the last hour, I just went back in the bed. I don't remember arriving or anything. And all I know is you guys did miss when we woke up this morning. You were at a sick, sick campground. I, I, I pulled up last night and it looked cool, so I can't imagine what it looked like with the sunlight on it. Oh, it was dope. We are here. We are here. Oh, God. It's just too much. He's really tired. Oh, we have made it. We are here. We're here at Just Add Water. These guys are sick. And we are going to hopefully do this right now. Wow. That is just miraculously beautiful out here. We are going fish. What? We need paddles? Hey, Mab. Blue. Blue ones, the big ones. All right, guys, we're officially rigged. Took us a little bit of time. We got some drone shots. Mav is looking like he knows what he's doing. But we're gonna go out here. We're gonna try and catch some halibut, legit from a kayak. You know, when you're when you're in that nursing home when you're 75 years old, are you gonna want to say, oh, you took a big boat out there and you dropped some bait on some fish? You're gonna want to say you took a kayak in the ocean and actually caught some halibut. That's what I'm talking about. So, hopefully. You know, there's about, we, we did some math last night, odds of Mav making it back to the dock, 50-50. So, so in Peric's boat today, we actually have a, a GPS system, so when he gets lost <laughs> out there, that he can find his way back. We also made sure that there's no oil in the boat whatsoever, so it's not going to get hot <laughs> enough. So that's what we have going on this morning. We're going to try, you know, the limit is six halibut. We do not need six halibut. Um, we just need a couple because we want to try, we want to try some fresh halibut tonight. So hopefully we catch one, two, um, that's probably all we need. I'm gonna push it back. No, no, push me. You guys hop in. I'll, no. I'll get you a good shot. Here. <laughs> no, no, no. Right, well, you we'll guys see. just hop in. No, I'll, I'll get you guys hopping in right here. Gotcha. Well, no, I got what a good. I want to do is I want to load them up over there. Oh yeah, so we need to all load up right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we need to push it back a little bit. You ready? So would you would you go away, please? <laughs> <laughs> bon voyage. See you later, Sobi. Okay. So you've got a lot of gear with you, okay? Don't drop the camera. You okay? <laughs> How do you feel? You feel limbo? We got some stuff for trolling, so if you guys do want to try for salmon, you can. Um, and then you guys all have extra uh, jigging baits as well. Okay. okay. Good. Let's go. I don't know if you could land a 100 pounder with the setups we have. I'm going to try and drop down right here. We're in 46 right here. Let's try it out. 46. What do you guys think? We're in 50 foot. You're probably in like 20 foot, honestly. Um, oh, maybe you hit the shelf. There's a big shelf. One from 10 to 50 foot. Fish on. No, first fish, folks. It's kind of scary. You don't know what's gonna come up. 
Oh gosh. Oh, rockfish. Oh no, yeah. Oh yeah. There we go, folks. The first fish out of the kayak. Definitely not a big fish. First fish of the day. Just a little guy. Fish on. This one feels better. Bigger fish, bigger fish. Come here, baby. Be a big Hallie. Be a big Hallie. It's the biggest one yet. Be a big Hallie. Fish on? Halibut! Halibut! First halibut of the day. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to keep this one. Here we go. The first official halibut is in the boat. It is not big. It is not an eater size fish, but look at that thing. Water's so clear here. This is insane. Obviously, it's a little bit harder to film, but that's a good sign. I mean, 100 foot of water, first fish. How you guys doing? Everybody's good? There we go, fish on. That one feels better. That one feels a lot better. That fish just freaking smoked. It is, it's a halibut. Oh, that's sick. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm gonna land this thing. I do not have a net. 